Hello and hey, and today we're going to be messing with Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley, the single player, country living RPG, uh, commonly referred to as the Harvest Moon for PC. Now, I would say this game is more diverse than the Harvest Moon games, but uh, it doesn't quite as go as far in depth uh, on some of the things. So, I personally prefer this style of game, so kudos to Concerned Ape on that, but um, for the most part... That is the game for me in a nutshell. So, getting to the point here, I'm going to go ahead and have sort of a guide slash tutorial to the community center and how to complete it, or how to get the items to complete it more, more specifically. So, jumping right into it to make this video as quick as I possibly can, the Spring Foraging Bundle, the Horseradish, the Daffodil, Leek, and Dandelion, these can all be found on the ground anywhere in the spring. They can also be bought from the traveling cart. Let's say if you missed it, like you're already in summer and it's going to take you a whole year to get to this and you're like, I need to get everything done this year. This is um, just picking stuff off the ground. Pretty much the bundle, the whole room is almost that. So we'll go ahead and jump to the summer foraging bundle. Sorry. I'm also trying to hold back some coughs during this, so please don't uh, be concerned if I start talking very strangely. So, spice berry, grape, sweet pea. These can all be found on the ground, who would have thought? Uh, Spiceberry and Grape can be found in the the Bat Cave, if you choose that option from Demetrius. So just a heads up on these two, if you, if you miss those, they can be found in the Bat Cave if you have the Bat Cave. Nice. Just notice what I was saying. Okay, so Fall Foraging, we have the Common Mushroom, Wild Plum, Hazelnut, and Blackberry. Blackberry and Wild Plum can be found in the cave with the bats. Better way to say that. And then the Common Mushroom can be found if you chose the Mushroom Cave. And then again just on the ground. Very easy to find. You don't even have to like really go out of your way to find any of these, so we'll just move on again. Winter foraging, you have winter root, crystal fruit, winter root, crystal fruit, snow yam, crocus, crocus, not entirely sure. These two can be found in the mines in the, uh, the snow biome area, and uh, I haven't found this yet, but I think this might be possible too. If not, uh, don't go looking for it, because in the winter, you find tons of those worm patches you're gonna have to hoe one of those and you're probably gonna get a snow yam out of it so again these are just on the ground during the winter you don't have to like change your play style to get them should be pretty pretty simple and for each of those you get the appropriate seasons 30 seeds for that so the rewards are just more sort of farming things picking more stuff up off the ground for the construction bundle you do have to get 198 wood, just chop down trees, 99 stone, mine some rocks, and then 10 hardwood, which can be found either from the crates in the mines or chopping stumps or hollow logs if you have the upgraded axes to do so. Also, the secret woods, which you, you would probably have 10 already, but there is 12 hardwood in there per day. And for that, you get the charcoal kiln, which can turn 20 pieces of wood into a single coal. From there, we'll jump into the middle and almost complete this entire room very quickly. Uh, the exotic foraging bundle, which of course has the coconut and cactus fruit, which are found in the desert. These are probably not going to be um, gotten very early unless you just like super went cash, cash crazy. So don't worry too much about these. You'll get to them. There's plenty of them. And if you haven't completed the bundle, you'll run into these very quickly. Okay. The cave carrot can be found in the mines. With, like, fairly fairly often, it's got a nice bit of regularity. Uh, they're in the crates quite a bit, and they're also all over the ground in the, uh, the, soft, the soft dirt. If you hoe the soft dirt, you will definitely find. A few of these should not be a problem. The red mushroom and the purple mushroom can be found in the, in the mines as well. Usually, you'll see a whole bunch of these red mushrooms on just a certain floor, and then you, that's kind of your tip that you're going to find a purple mushroom as well. These just are found randomly. They can also be picked up from the mushroom cave if you if you chose that option. The next thing we'll talk about is the maple syrup, oak resin, and pine tar, which each require a tapper on the 
the aforementioned trees, you know, the pine tree, oak tree, maple tree. Uh, very easy to come across once you get like was like 40 wood and two copper bars to make uh, a tapper for each of these. Or you can even move it from tree to tree if you just want to take three weeks to do the whole thing. It wouldn't be a whole big deal. So usually these six are the one you'll find a combination of for the five here. But there's also the moral, which is also found in the mushroom cave. Or it is in the secret woods during spring. So... If you have a quickly upgraded axe, you can go get this in spring, or wait till year two, or if you have the mushroom cave, you'll find this, but I do think that these six are probably the six that you'll use uh, a combination of to get to here. So just throw it out there. And the reward for this bundle is the Autumn's Bounty. You get five of those. It's a it's a food. It's it's a food. Uh, that's, that's basically what I got for you. So we'll go ahead and complete this so we can get to the next, the next bundle. Pardon me. Why are I putting these in the right spots? I don't know. It does not matter. Alright, so the bundle... Sorry, the room is the bridge repair. And that gets you to the quarry, which... I don't know how to say this. Uh, kind of sucks. I mean, it's a good place to go mine once you get the, the mine cart, I guess. If you don't have level 10 mining and want it, you can just show up. Get some ores and crush a whole bunch of rocks. So with that first bundle, we obviously unlocked the pantry and the fish tank. So we'll go ahead and jump over to the pantry first, because it's just right here. The spring crops, these are very self-explanatory. That was almost not... That was a weird word that was going to come out of my mouth. We have this parsnip, green bean, cauliflower, potato. All spring crops. You could also buy these from the traveling cart lady. Self-explanatory, I believe. Summer crops, tomato, hot pepper, blueberry, melon. Same exact story. Fall crops, corn, which can also be grown in summer, eggplant, pumpkin, yam. Yep. <laughs> Quality crops. Now, this is something you want to pay special attention to, especially if you want to get this done in one year. The the five gold star parsnips, if you just like spam in an insane amount of parsnips, during your first spring, you'll be able to get this. Uh, you also have super high farming because the number of crops that you'll be able to pump out in a short period of time is immense and then the higher your farming is the more likely it is for you to get gold and silver star sort of things so parsnip spring melon is summer corn can be summer so you can get this all done in the first two months of a year and pumpkins are obviously fall and so that's what we're going to go with on that one the animal bundle self-explanatory you're going to need to have a good relationship with a cow that's not something i ever thought i'd say and then good re good relationship with a brown chicken good relationship with a white chicken good relationship with a goat and then you're going to have either a rabbit or a sheep and they will drop wool in the uh in the coop or barn respectively and then you're going to have to have a duck which lays eggs slightly less often than normal chickens and that's just another quick easy bundle the artisan bundle does need a little bit of explaining because just i mean look at all this stuff there's 12 things but you only have to get six of them that really helps out because you can kind of come across some of these without even buying like too much. I mean, this is probably the most expensive bundle other than just the straight cash bundle that we will be talking about later. The truffle oil is obviously made with an oil maker from a truffle that a pig finds. So that is a pretty expensive one. That's probably not the one you get uh, for these six slots, but just telling you how to get it. Cloth is using some of that wool that we just saw on a loom. Goat cheese is goat milk put into a cheese press cheese is just uh, cow milk put into a cheese press who would have thought honey is gotten from a beehive which if you, as long as you have that outside and it's not winter this will be super easy to get so that's probably one of the easiest ones jelly is made from the preserves jar with any fruit at all um just at all it's super easy it's good stuff apples apricots Oranges, peach, peaches, sorry, pomegranates, and cherries are all found from the respective trees, or uh, oranges and cherries, at least, are found uh, in the fruit cave if you do choose to go with the bats option. So, like, combination of just having a certain number of animals, which will help you complete that bundle, you'll also get a lot of these products as long as you have the respective artisan processing tool thing. And then, if you haven't grown trees 
uh, you have the option to have these two fruits from your fruit cave, which I think kind of puts it above the mushroom cave just for like the fruit, like just the food things. Cause I'm not the big fan of the mushrooms, even though you can make free life elixirs out of the mushroom cave. That's kind of my own little commentary there. Um, you're probably going to find it a lot easier to get a combination of things. Cause I've even gotten peaches out of that thing, even though it's not listed on any wiki I've ever seen that in, out of the fruit cave. So just something to keep your eye out for. You'll probably get a combination of the cheeses and honey and jelly and then like maybe a fruit or two. And that'll probably be how you do the artisan bundle. And that's just, that is that. The reward for this entire thing is the best reward like ever. You get the greenhouse. The, um, the means for 120 squares to grow anything you want any time of year, including trees in there. That's That doesn't take up any of the spots. Probably should have said that a little bit better. But uh, that allows you to make like 400,000 gold per week if you really wanted to. If you really wanted to min-max the game out. Anyway, that's going a little bit further. So, sorry, I had a coughing attack there. All right, the fish, fish tank is... It honestly has a terrible reward. Like, let's get that out of the way right now. Don't be in a, the biggest hurry to get this done. I mean, you can get some, like, nice stuff, I guess, from this. But, like, don't prioritize this one, even though uh, it does take, like, the most specific days to actually get it done. Which is kind of weird. Like, it has, like, the hardest sort of thing to do. And it doesn't really give you something that's really worth that sort of thing. But it is what it is. So, without my commentary, here we go. Riverfish bundle. Sunfish are only found... Um, in like the river areas, uh, in the daytime, sunfish, uh, in the spring and summer, catfish are only found in the rain, which took me forever to find out. And that is a spring and fall thing. And again, it's only found in rivers. It could be like day or night though. It, you don't have to worry about that. Shads are also found in the rain, also in rivers. And then they're found in spring, summer, and fall. So they are slightly more diverse and they're easier to catch than the catfish, which are, you'll know when you have a catfish uh, on the line in the river, when you're not used to fishing just yet, you'll definitely understand. Like, whoa, that's, that's a step up in difficulty. Tiger trout are found in rivers again. Who would have thought with the river fish bundle? They're found during the fall and winter and during daytime. That's... That's what I got for you. And for this bundle, you'll just get bait. So it's not even like, it's not crazy. We'll just, we'll just move along. Because we keep on with this one, we'll go with the lake fish bundle. The largemouth bass is found like all day, every day at the lake. Um, doesn't matter. As long as it's day, daytime, you'll, you'll be able to find one of these green fish. The carp is found actually all day, every day. Um, it doesn't matter when you get it. You're just going to find it in the in the lake that's wow good good sentence uh bullhead is pretty much exactly the same thing as the carp you're gonna find these anytime you want to anytime you go there and then sturgeon are found in the lakes during the daytime of summer or winter so it's a little bit more specific on that but again this one is just sort of a simple bundle again there's not much to say to it again all during the lake daytime all seasons, anytime, all seasons, anytime, all seasons, daytime, summer, and winter. Ocean fish, pretty simple again, found in the ocean. Who would have, who would have thought that, am I right? Why do I keep saying this stuff? Uh, daytime is spring, fall, and winter. I, I don't know. I could, couldn't find any in summer, so spring, fall, and winter. Tuna is daytime during the summer and winter. Uh, red snapper is... Only in the rain, during the day, during the summer and fall. And then tilapia is, again, during the day, during summer and fall. So, I mean, I don't understand why these are so specific. He has a, a lot of rain fish, and I'm not entirely sure why that is. But it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and go with that. Walleye is apparently only found at night, although I've caught you know, several after afternoon I caught like three in a row from like one to two one time in the fall when it was raining when I wasn't going for it so keep an eye on that maybe that's just not in there but it has to be raining bream can be caught at night uh, pretty much like any time I think 
It's not a season-specific fish. I'm going to go ahead and say this is an all-seasons fish. Uh, the eel is found at night, during the spring or fall, and only when it's raining. So this one is uh, its pretty picky when you're going to catch it. It's got to be raining, spring or fall, nighttime. Again, not entirely sure why these are so specific. I guess this, there's not a lot you could do with this, but I think the reward doesn't quite match up to um, how this works out. So pufferfish is a summer fish that can be caught apparently from 12 to 4 p.m. during the day when it's not raining. So again, super specific. Ghost fish can be caught in the cave. Not, okay, the mines, I should say, down to like level 20. Or 60. No, you can't catch it at 60. You can catch it at 60, I think. It's either 20 or 60. It sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think you can catch it at 60. You can definitely catch it at 20 in the mines. Sandfish has to be caught in the desert. So, again, this is going to take you quite a little bit, unless you want to buy it from the traveling cart lady, which, again, is way cheaper than actually getting this fish specifically. Uh, it's a pretty easy catch in the desert, though, in the one piece of fishing land that you have and the wood skip can be found in the secret woods like anytime again these are like anytime fish i should say that again except for the puffer fish which was 12 to 4 on summer days in the daytime and then wood skip can be found in the secret woods pond um it's a, again a pretty easy catch you're going to catch a lot of carp in that pond but stay at it and you'll catch a wood skip and then lastly, you get the crab pot bundle. This is pretty obvious, I think. If you have a crab pot, you can catch some of these things. Some of these are limited to the ocean, like the lobsters and crabs. And then some of them you're going to find a lot more often in rivers and things like that, like the snail and the periwinkle. But uh, you're actually able to find four, one, two, three, maybe you might be able to find all five of these on the beach. So don't don't sweat too much about crab pots just go forage the beach you'll be able to find more and then put a pot either in the ocean or river and you'll find like the other one if if this one isn't these are all salvageable so again what you get from this is like the copper pan which allows you to get ores out of special spots in the water they don't appear commonly enough to really make it worth it so i i don't even carry it around with me anymore but that's just uh again my own commentary so that's just that is what that is to me so We'll go ahead and complete another bundle. Sorry about the delayed commentary on that one. I guess it's not really my place to say what you should do. Get the bundle complete. We get the seeds, like I said. We'll just go ahead and jump out of here. With this, we're going to open up the boiler room, which only has three bundles in it. And they are kind of strange bundles. Like, one of the things you have to do is sort of... I don't want to say difficult, but it's its not like the others, is what, I guess is what I'll say. But uh, at the same time, there's kind of, sort of ways around it. So the blacksmith bundle, copper bar, iron bar, gold bar. If you have enough money, you can honestly just buy the ores from Clint and just make one. But uh, all you'll get is a furnace for this, so don't worry too much about that. Just one of each bar. The Adventurer Bundle, 99 Slime, which can take a little bit of time to rally up, gather up. 10 Bat Wings, easy to get, easy enough to get. Solar Essence and Void Essence. As you go down further into the mines, you'll find that Ghosts drop these quite a bit. And then, like, the Voodoo Shamans um, drop a lot of the Void Essences. And you only need two of these, so you're probably more likely going to end up with 99 Slime and 10 Bat Wings. So don't worry too much about... Uh, these particular objects, unless you want to start making friends with the wizard, in case, in which case he loves these. Geolog geologist bundle. I'm really having trouble here. The quartz is found pretty regularly uh, across all levels of the mines. Earth crystal is sort of the the um, the upper 40 levels. The frozen tier is sort of like the middle 40 levels, and then the fire quartz is sort of the bottom 40 levels, and that's sort of like the theme of each biome. There's like kind of like the earthy brown earth crystal the the icy frozen tier and then the lava zone fire quartz 
not a whole lot there. Uh, you do get the, like probably one of the better awards just under greenhouse here with the mine carts. Able to move around town a lot quicker. You can get up to the mines instantly from the bus stop. Go over to the quarry uh, once you unlock that. And get over to Clint and the museum via the town option. So I guess I should have probably just done this one. And I'm also going to be one short. So that kind of sucks, but here we go. I have fall with me, I believe. Yes. Again, don't know why I'm doing it this way. We get the fall seats. And we're able to get the bulletin board with just three bundles. I'm, I don't have the winter one on me. I did collect those, but uh, I, I kind of realized that that was pointless because the, the vault room is so simple. It's, it can be easily explained in less than a minute. So, Chef's Bundle. Again, we come across the maple syrup. The Fiddlehead Fern, which is found in the secret woods in summer. Truffle, which can be dug up by pigs. Poppy, which is a summer flower crop thing. Maki Roll, which is found, um, I think, during the summer of year two. The recipe is on the Queen of Sauce. Or, I also found that Gus at the Star Drop Saloon sells this recipe for 1500 gold. So, if just in case you missed the, the cooking channel. That day, uh, that is, this is where you can also find that. And then fried egg is just you need, you need an egg and a kitchen to be able to cook a fried egg. That, that's pretty simple. Go ahead to the field research bundle. Again, we have a purple mushroom. This can be found any of the ways I said earlier. The nautilus shell, which is found on the beach during winter. You'll find quite a few of these there. The chub, which it's always great saying you caught a 20-inch chub, um, is found during winter. Man, I am. I need to find my notes. Real, I, this is unprofessional, can't believe me. You find it during all seasons of fishing, any time of day, uh, as long as you're in the the mountain lake. That's That was the thing I was trying to find. Dang, mountain lake. Okay, so the frozen geode is found in like the ice biome, the, the middle 40 levels of the, of the mines, and that's just this entire bundle. Not a whole lot of variety here there's I mean, these are all easy to find things and that's actually kind of refreshing after the, the fishing bundle we'll jump over to the enchanters bundle which this is the bane of everybody's existence but we'll get to that in a second we have the oak resin from the oak tree obviously wine you need a keg and put fruit in that keg come out with that rabbit's foot is for some people has been impossible to get and for other people they have like 16 of them not entirely sure what is causing that just rng sort of thing. My girlfriend insists if you name your rabbit Lucky that it will drop more often and she has two and I have zero drops ever so I gotta give her you know at least partial credit for that. Um, this is also a rare drop from the serpent like the dragonfly looking things in the skull cavern so if you still don't have a rabbit's foot by the time you're hitting that regularly you, you'll get one eventually. So just stick with it and you'll get one. Pomegranate found in that tree like we said or possibly from other sources such as the traveling cart lady or just basically anything you'll, you'll come across this probably before you come across your rabbit's foot and if you don't then you know half the internet hates you and that's that's fine the dye bundle is again somewhat foraging somewhat hard to get just kind of a random assortment of things red mushrooms we've gone over that sea urchins are found on the part of the beach that is needing of that 300 wood bridge to be repaired you'll find these over there all the time and then you, this can also be sent to you in the mail if you're friends with people good enough and stuff it's kind of neat sunflowers are grown in the summer so those are just that's basically how you get it or you can buy it from the traveling cart lady again duck feathers ducks drop these i've gotten them about one to two a month each month I've had my duck. So they're more common than the rabbit's foot, but still fairly rare. So kind of be on the lookout and be sure to build a good relationship with your ducks if you uh, are having trouble with this. 
aquamarine can be found like in the mines or a rock or anything like that just keep your eyes out for it don't sell it like you probably normally do red cabbage is a year two seed from pierre or you can buy it from the lady in the traveling cart which is the one i recommend uh just because by the time i hit year two summer i just i didn't i didn't buy crops anymore because i had like an ancient fruit farm and that's just whatever but if you choose to go this route Red cabbage is used in different recipes and stuff too, so you might well just uh, use that like that. But other than that, that is easy bundle. And in the fodder bundle, which just 10 wheat, 10 hay, 3 apples, probably going to need an apple tree for this. I mean, unless you want to try to stock up from the traveling cart lady, which I'm bringing up a lot now. Uh, the 10 wheat is just a simple, like, 4 days to get that. And then the hay, you get that once you have a silo, or you can just buy 10 from Marnie as shown here. This is a pretty easy bundle. Uh, and this obviously just rewards your friendship. You get two hearts with everybody that isn't like an interest. Cause I was married when I completed this one and all the single people didn't get any hearts. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing. And that's that bundle. So like we've gone through everything except for the vault, which I didn't unlock because it would take a little bit extra time. And it's just as easy to say, there is a 2,500 gold bundle, a 5,000 gold bundle, a 10,000 gold bundle, and a 25,000 gold bundle, which if you add them all up, equates to 42,500 gold. And what that gets you is some of those pieces of equipment that we were talking about and the ability to go to the desert, which is the Skull Cavern, stuff like that. So you get like chocolate cake, quality fertilizer, lightning rod, and a crystallarium, which is going to take a while to re coop that money but you will get it back if you play long enough and just do diamonds and stuff so this takes 42,500 to complete and once you do all of those bundles in all of those rooms you get the completed community center Pierre shops open more everybody's happy except for you because like you can't find Clint on Tuesdays and Fridays and it's like where the hell's Robin on Mondays so <laughs> it's it can be pretty fun I think that's all the information I know I got a little sloppy here on the fish bundles because they're so specific. It's hard to keep track of them. And again, you don't get that awesome reward for that. So that does kind of suck. But, uh, you know, thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, trying to hold back these coughs and saying, uh, so much is not the best video I know. But again, hope it helped somebody in some way. That's always the goal of a tutorial. So thank you and uh, stay safe. Later, guys.